Uh, hello viewers and uh, welcome to my channel uh, today's topic is uh, tension headaches uh, but before starting I would like to request you to like subscribe and uh, share this video for more information and uh, if you need more, you can visit our website uh, for more information about any disease if you need and this is uh, www.diseasesandtreatment.com now I will come to the topic the topic is uh, tension headaches no, attention headache is the most common type of the headache and it can uh, cause mild, moderate and intense pain in your uh, head, neck and uh, behind your eyes, you know. And uh, uh, some patients uh, say that the tension headache uh, feels like a tight band around your forehead, you know, and they're right. And the majority of the people who suffer from the tension headache, uh, they have the uh, episodic headaches which occur one or two times per month on average you know and uh, the tension headaches can also be chronic you know and uh, it can come uh, sudden as well you know you know the next thing is what are uh, the causes of tension headaches well the tension headaches are uh, caused by the muscle contractions in the head and the neck regions and uh, a variety of foods activities and uh, stressors can cause these types of the contractions, you know. Now, some people develop tension headaches after, uh, like, uh, uh, staring at a computer screen for a long time or after driving for long periods of time, you know, and uh, cold temperatures may also trigger the tension headaches. And the other triggers uh, uh, may include like uh, uh, alcohol, uh, eye strain, smoking, fatigue, uh, dry eyes, uh, cold or flu, you know, uh, sinus infections, caffeine, uh, caffeinated beverages, uh, poor posture and uh, emotional stress, you know. So these are the contributing factors. Now, next thing is, what are the symptoms of the tension headaches? Well, the symptoms uh, may include uh, like uh, 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 dull head pain, uh, pressure on your forehead, or around your eyes, and the tenderness around the forehead and scalp. And the pain is usually uh, mild to moderate, but it can be intense too, you know. And uh, in this case, you uh, might confuse your uh, tension headache with migraine uh, which is a type of headache that causes the throbbing pain on one side or the both sides of your head uh, but the tension headaches uh, don't cause uh, all the symptoms of the migraine such as uh, nausea and vomiting, vomiting you know uh, that's one of the symptoms of the uh, migraine you know and uh, in rare cases uh, a tension headache can cause uh, sensitivity to light uh, sensitivity to uh, loud noises which are simi similar to the migraine you know now the next thing is uh, you know in severe cases your doctor may uh, run the tests to rule out the other problems like uh, brain tumor and the tests uh, may include the x-rays the CT scan and MRI of the brain you know and uh, which helps to uh, diagnose this uh, these headaches you know in fact to exclude the other possible causes of the headaches you know now how much diagnose then uh, what are the treatment options and uh, uh, other uh, uh, part of this uh, discussion you know you know you can take over the counter medications uh, like ibuprofen or aspirin uh, to get rid of attention headaches uh, but these should uh, only be used occasionally and uh, because they have the negative impacts as well, you know, and side effects. And especially with the aspirin, you know, because it's a blood thinner too. And uh, you can have the bleeding problems, you know, if it's used for a long period of time uh, without uh, prescription, you know. And uh, uh, these type of headaches occur when you become so... Uh, Accustomed that uh, to a medication that uh, you experience pain when the drugs wear off, you know, so you become habitual of these drugs, you know. And over the counter drugs uh, are sometimes not enough to <coughs> treat the recurrent tension headaches, you know. 
and uh, in these cases uh, your doctor may give you a prescription medications like uh, uh, naproxen or uh, acetaminophen you know and other drugs you know and uh, uh, if the painkillers are not working then in that case your doctor may prescribe the muscle relaxants and uh, uh, which is a medication that uh, helps to stop the muscle contractions and your doctor may also prescribe uh, antidepressants such as uh, a selective uh, uh, like uh, uh, serotonin or apoptotic inhibitors you know uh, which can uh, stabilize your brain levels of uh, uh, serotonin you know and can help to cope with the stress and uh, in other cases your doctor may uh, recommend the treatments uh, uh, like uh, stress management classes you know and uh, which are helpful to manage the, these uh, symptoms you know headaches you know biofeedback which is a relaxation technique you know and uh, cognitive behavioral therapy uh, which is a talk therapy and helps to recognize the situations that cause you stress that cause you anxiety and that cause you tension you know so this way you are better able to manage these uh, situations you know and acupuncture is an other alternative therapy you know which can help uh, to reduce the stress and the tension by applying the fine needles to specific areas of the body you know and uh, some supplements may also help to relieve the tension headaches uh, you know and uh, but you should always uh, uh, check with your doctor before taking any kind of over over the counter medication or any kind of supplements or any kind of herbal medications you know because sometimes um, uh, there are a number of uh, people around the world who claim uh, to relieve these kind of a product uh, uh, supply the products which relieve the tension headaches you know but there isn't any enough documentation or proofs you know so be careful thank you goodbye